iOS 18.3 public beta 3 is out as it was expected and in this video I'm going to share what is new in this update and how you can install this update. So without any further delay let's get jump into this video. What do is simply go to settings, go to software update. In the software update you will see the update. I have already installed so I will not see the update. You can select iOS 18 public beta profile over here. And you guys will see the update. That is a simple way to get the update. And if I talk about the build number over here, it is 22D5055B. There is B at the end of the build number, which means there might be another beta, but I think it, it's going to be the last beta. And the next update is going to be the RC update. Definitely, when that will come out, I will talk about that. So make sure to subscribe the channel for that video. So far this update is out and it is working really fine. I'm using the update so far in terms of battery life, in terms of performance, everything seems really, really good. Now talking about what is new in this update, well, there are not big features. This update is completely focused on summarize notification or summarize notification is a AI feature and there were going some issues with the news app so apple is working on that so with this update news app are no longer summarizing notifications summarize notification for news app are not available for now also there is a text in the sur summarize notification section summaries may contain errors this is over here because it is still in beta also now the notifications that are summarize notification that will come in italic text so we can differentiate between the actual notification and the ai generated summarized notification so this is just a few couple of changes that are available with the ios 18.3 public beta 3. although we saw that in public beta 2 we got uh, this small little change where we can repeat actions something like this this was not there before it is again back which is a very nice little change I don't know if it is going to be useful for you guys but it is over here that is a nice thing also with the home app now you can you know manage your robot vacuum so if you use that accessories you can add them as accessory and use them that is also available with the 18.3 so these are the little changes now this change was in beta 1 so yeah this is all about iOS 18.3 as you can see no big changes because dot 3 is always a small update. Now so far it's a good update. If you want to install this update if you're running iOS 18.2 or 18.2.1 what you need to do is you need to sign up for the public beta. You can go to beta.apple.com and sign up for the public beta and you will see the update. Well, this was a small, simple video without, like, I don't want to drag the video for no reason. There are nothing big future, just a small update. No, as nothing else is there. If I found anything, I will definitely share with you guys. But this is what is this. Well, I will also come up, uh, come back with another video in which I talk about how the battery life is performing and how the performance is going on. That will be a follow up video, but that is going to be like after a couple of days well this is all from this video again 18.3 beta 3 is out it is out for the public now if you want to install it you can install it it's a very easy method to install it and there is no big dramatic features small changes with the summarized notification that are there with the iOS 18.3 beta 3 well this is all from this video and i will catch you in my next video until that take care peace out